What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No a Premium, back with another episode of the Market Overview, guys. Today, today we knew, right? Pre-market low, we went down. Oh, excuse me. Pre-market low, we went down, made a lower low, right, from Friday, even from that last Thursday. Um, I did notice a little bit this morning, we were having a little bit of RSI divergence. So show me that the strength of this downtrend could be coming to an end. Plus, where do we go to? We said if we do dip under 44.20, I'd be looking for a dip in recovery right into where? 44.10 to 4400. We can look back here to the left. We can see it did literally that this morning. That's why I knew this morning. I really was only going to be looking to the upside. And if you're with the Wolves of Wealth, we did take spy calls. Uh, we took some fucking Carvana calls too that went insane if anyone caught that squeeze congrats uh comment below i'm curious to see how you guys did because carvana man good lord anyway on till tomorrow though let's take a quick uh we have the <clears throat> we have the uh i think it's the nfib small business optimism index or something like that that comes out really early in the morning that's 6 a.m eastern standard time uh, the only other thing we have to look out after that is we have some red book data. We have Bullard speaking. If you guys noticed, we had a few of those knuckleheads speaking today, caused some <clears throat> some dips, some rips, some liquidity grabs, whatever you want to call them. Um, so we just know, we call those headline bombs. Whenever those idiots come on and speak, just know that they could do anything to it. But I would say uh, 30 minutes before market open, as you can see right here, we do have Bullard speaking 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 30 minutes after market open. Economic optimism index. So just look for that. I don't really think it's going to be anything catastrophic or make or break the market by any means, but just watch out for that. And then just note tomorrow we do have CPI data, which if you uh, <clears throat> know anything about CPI data, the market will be watching that tomorrow. Do we get a range day? I have no idea. This is what I can tell you, though. This is the bottom of the balance area, I would say. I'd say the bottom of this balance area is this area here. Where am I? Here we are. This is where I'd say is the bottom of the balance. Okay. This is the bottom of the balance. So do we go up and get over 4450 area and go test this 4470 supply zone? It's very possible. As you can see, had dipped down, dipped down, broke through, went up, rejected. Okay. So it's very possible we could see that tomorrow. Tomorrow, I do think we're going to see some tactical trading more than likely just because of the CPI print coming. But I'll look to see if we can get a higher low. <clears throat> see if we can get a higher low on the day to possibly make our way up. Really just need to break over 4450. 4450, 4450, 4450 ES takes us up to 4470 above. Look for the higher low. I would look to take longs uh, at a double bottom from today, 4410 all the way down to 4400 ES. Um, look out for those levels tomorrow going into the CPI print. SPY, what's going on with SPY, S&P 500, going to look very similar uh, to, <laughs> excuse me, to the S&P 500 futures. Um, as we can see, we talked about this 430, 650 area, went right down to it. Notice the RSI divergence that happened as well, right? Making a lower low on the underlying, but the RSI was not making a lower low. Show me the strength of this downward quote-unquote trend or pullback was coming probably closer to an end same thing here we do have very much of a as we can see right we have some balance in this area and here so if we know get rid of that if we know that we can get rid and stay above 439 tomorrow or get above this 439 call it 75 439 75 to the upside or just hold for 439 we could easily come up and test some of the supply up here at 442. I'd watch for the higher low above 438, but watch 439.75. Take it out. Gets us to 442. Um, likely we could see a possible reject there tomorrow. Uh, any longs up here? I don't like being a new money long up here. I need to see a break and hold of 444, really. Like a break, maybe a one-hour close above 444, right? Uh and then a back test up here on a smaller time frame holding, and that opens up 448, right? That opens up 448. I do like if we dip below the double bottom here, 436.50, or even into 435, I do like a long in this level as well. Underneath 434, you could target 432, then 430 below there. QQQ, what's going on with the cubes? Uh, very much been respecting its levels, right? Very much been respecting its levels. Uh, even more so than SPY, we knew this 4, uh, 365 area, right? Never had any of these closes really underneath this area from Thursday, right? So 
that led us to know we were going to go up higher for uh 366 50 368 372 those are huge or excuse me 370 372 big levels to be on watch for tomorrow maybe watch for a possible small little liquidity grab down to maybe even down here to 362 and pop back up i have no idea i like 362 and 360 for longs as well really need a candle close on the hourly above this 366 50 area to show that 368 370 372 can be opened up and coming uh iwm what's going on with iwm the strongest one out of all of them go fucking figure we've had a two-day rotation pretty much into russell cap 2000 small cap so do we get a pullback here at 189 we know that that's the top of this little new balance era we've gotten in new balance not the brand i mean just this new balance zone that we've gotten into it's rather large um, as we can see, bottom out, topped, topped, bottomed out, top, you know, almost bottomed out here, coming right back to it. So if we get a pullback here on 179.50, still a green day up, but do we get a rotation back into SPY and QQQ? I have no idea. We'll just have to wait and see. But levels for tomorrow, pretty straightforward here. Um, need to hold 186.50. 186.50 is going to open up that 189 area. Above 189, let's say we get boot and scoot and tootin'. 192 to the upside. If we do break below 186.50, watch 185, 184, and then 182.50 below there. Guys, that's all I got for you today. Look out for uh, one of those idiots is speaking. I think it's Bostick or Bullard or whatever. They're speaking tomorrow, so no, they, they speak for 30 minutes before the market open. A little bit of data 30 minutes after, but then CPI on Wednesday. And, of course, you got to wake up early, get your levels right, and not do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you bright and early. Peace.